Wow. So let's go ahead and get started. I mean, this season, I had heard so much good about it, and I wasn't sure what to believe, but here we are with the boys are back in town. But before we get into this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. I'm going to be covering the boys every week as long as we get these new episodes. So stay tuned for that. So I think I'll probably cover each episode. But right now we're just going to talk about overall. But we'll call this the end of episode three, right? So pretty much during this whole thing, we've learned that Starlight has now become co-captain with Homelander after the whole fiasco they had last year. So we have seen that Vought believes that the best way to sort of recover from this is to have a woman as well as a captain but of course as we know she is put as co-captain which starlight's kind of like eh, about it but ultimately she decides she can do some good however if she's at least somewhere up there with some power uh we do learn about v24 and learn about mave as well working with butcher v24 gives you the powers of a soup for 24 hours and butch doesn't know if he should use it or not Homelander and Butch have a little meeting about them still raising hell and still going ahead with the whole thing that they have going with them because now they've been sort of put to the side and told that they can do things on the down low and not really cause as much havoc as we've seen before. Uh, Huey's been working with Newman and he finds out that Newman's actually been a soup this whole time and is sort of Edgar's daughter of sorts that he actually adopted at a certain point. And we see that her real name is actually Nadia and she actually did kill her parents. So what the boys are currently up to this season is trying to find what happened to Soldier Boy. Because they think the truth is out there that Soldier Boy was actually killed with a weapon that they can use against Homelander. And so they want to find this weapon. So they're trying to get to the bottom of all of this. We also see that Stormfront is still alive at the beginning of the season. But by the third episode, she is unalived. And then we pretty much get a Homelander that goes on a spree. Like, this is the downward spiral for him. And he just goes off script at a, like, birthday thing he's having for himself be televised. And we see that his points actually do go up. And he's now feeling himself a little bit more. So, pretty much Homelander is going off the rails now. He feels he's at the top again. He is hitting his own demographics now which aren't like the ones that starlight's hitting and bots just like well as long as he's popular somewhere we're gonna keep him right even if it's for all the wrong reasons so butcher and the rest of the boys go after the original members of team payback and butcher finds out from one of the members of payback what actually did happen to soldier boy was something in Nicaragua, but he doesn't exactly know. He says that the CIA knows about that. And Grace Mallory, of course, is going to be who Butcher goes after. So Marvin, who has been out of the whole loop for some time, is actually thinking about just chilling, not doing much. But eventually, once he learns about Soldier Boy and everything else, he's back in the game because Soldier Boy actually was the one who killed Marvin's family. And so he has some beef there as well. Um, we do get the story from Grace Mallory who tells them about Soldier Boy and Payback. And we see a young Edgar as well as a young Black Noir unmasked. And it looks like Black Noir wanted to be unmasked but Edgar was like it ain't gonna work. You gotta put the mask on. And eventually we see what the scarring that Black Noir has was caused by. And we see that they pretty much say Soldier Boy has been killed after an attack that happens at the camp that they were in. And so now we don't know exactly how this happened. They explain that it was the Russians that had all of this going. And so we're back at base one, right? Like, what do the boys do now? They can't get more information. They don't know where to go. And so during all of this as well, we actually see that the Deep is going to rejoin the Seven. As Homelander has gotten his approval ratings up again, he sort of feels like he can have his way with things and tells Starlight during this show that they're having to find the next two like spots of the seven that they are going to bring the deep back and they're not going to choose any of the ones that starlight wants homelander's just like i'm gonna make starlight's like life a living hell and make her like really regret becoming co-captain and all of this and so that's one of the reasons that he asked the deep to come and join the seven as well 
The other new addition to this 7 is going to be Supersonic, who was an old flame for Starlight. And it sort of puts Huey in a position where he doesn't like this too much. And she tries to get him to get out of this world and not really join it. As she says, it's a lot darker than it seems and Homelander is just getting crazier. Because Homelander doesn't even care about the airplane video that they were using as leverage on him. If they were to release that and he loses love from everybody around him, then all he's going to do is just destroy the world because he can. In the finale of the show that they're taping to find the next like, hero for the seven, we see Homelander pretty much tell the world that him and Starlight are now a couple and that they've been secretly in love. And Starlight decides to play this game and kisses him as it ends and you see her fist of rage. And pretty much that's where we're at right now with the boys. What a season like start for this, right? I saw the three episodes back to back, just felt like a movie and I'm just here for it. I was very much so surprised with what happened to Stormfront. I was expecting her to be a little bit more in the season. I'm still... Not sure entirely if she won't be in the season. I feel like we might see a little bit of her because she's such a big villain. And I would definitely hope that we do as well. The Soldier Boy thing, I'm not convinced as well that he is like dead because I feel like we've seen him in the trailers and all that. And I don't think Jensen Ackles would have just gotten onto this like whole role if it was just going to be something like this. But we'll see what happens, right? And by the end of the episode, we hear that Butcher tells Frenchie to get Lil Nina on the phone because they're going to go to Russia to try and find this weapon that can kill soups, they say. So we'll see if they do eventually find this weapon. But I like everything that we're seeing so far from this as well. I think the whole like Newman thing, um, her actually being like Edgar's daughter of sorts. That was such a big thing the last season about who was behind all the head explosions. And now we know and it's. Kind of eerie for I think Huey to realize that he's been working alongside this woman the whole time and just what is going to happen as well with that Red River encampment where they have all of these other kids as well. I think Kimiko this season as well is really fleshing out her character a lot more especially the scene with Ryan where they're talking about the powers that they have and how they don't want these powers it was very touching so overall I think that this is shaping up to be such a huge season and I'm just definitely excited to see what we get from all of this but let me see let me know what you think in the comments down below make sure you drop them as well and tell me what do you think is going to be happening here what are you most excited for uh come the season as well i will be doing a theory video tomorrow so make sure you tune in for that because we're going to be talking about everything and like just just a lot of theories are coming after seeing this episode all the storylines everything happening i'm just ready to go so yeah, let me know your thoughts, your opinions on all of that. And I think this whole thing with Maeve and Butcher as well, I think we're going to see a lot more of that. A-Train is also trying to sort of reestablish his image as well, which I think is interesting to see him on this redemption road as well. So everybody is sort of like trying to do um, like their past and all of this. And I like the whole idea of like your sins and all of that. Do they define who you are at the end of the day? As we know, A-Train has been pretty much a conflicted person throughout the whole thing. And I think I like where his story is going right now, especially with the redemption arc and trying to do better also. So we'll see how that plays out throughout the whole season. But as always, that is going to do it for me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like all that stuff. Tell me what you think is going to happen this season. I will break down each episode as well and things that I caught on as well. So those episodes uh, breakdowns should be coming probably like tonight still and over the morning as well. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think about it. I'm, I'm just excited with TV right now because I just finished watching Stranger Things and that was so good as well. And before that, Better Call Saul. And we now have some shows coming up next week as well. It's just a great time for TV. I really feel that, to be honest. So very excited and just super pumped to see what happens. So stay tuned for my theory videos on what I think is going to happen as well in the upcoming um, days as well. So lots of stuff to talk about the boys. Lots of things. So let me know. But yeah, very, very good stuff here happening and super excited to see how we end up like the season going. So five more episodes to go. Anyways, as always, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Once we get there, we will do a giveaway, so make sure you're subscribed. And 
Make sure you follow me on all the social medias. Culture Elixir is the name, TikTok, Twitter, all that good stuff. As always, stay safe, stay positive.